Hello. So I'm ready to start. So it's all just ancient history, really. Why do we care? Why don't we care? Uh, and I'm hopefully here to convince you that we should care about ancient history because it's quite cool, actually. Uh, so very briefly, firstly, what is ancient history? Um, it runs from sort of about sort of the beginning of people writing stuff down. So that's kind of about 1200 BC through to about 500 AD, which is sort of the collapse of the Roman Empire, and then it becomes the Dark Ages, and that's all really boring because we don't know what happened. And it's also very Mediterranean-centric because uh, it's mostly Greece and Rome because they were the only people writing things down, and the Egyptians get their own branch of history because they're much cooler. Um, so I picked two things that we can get from ancient history that are really awesome. So I picked... Oh, that's the wrong part of my talk. Yes. Uh, firstly, we write ancient history from stuff people wrote at the time, and then from inscriptions that were written down, and also from what we get from the archaeologists, so stuff they dug up out of the ground. And we have about 4% of um, everything that was written at the time of the Roman Empire. And I was going to talk about democracy and also entertainment. So obviously, democracy was invented by the ancient Athenians, um, quite late on, actually. Uh, and Churchill calls it the worst kind of government that has ever been tried apart from all of the others. And it's got to be said, the ancient Greeks had a lot of different kinds of governments. So I've got some Athenian Democrats here. Uh, they're Pericles and Themistocles and Alcibiades. And Alcibiades actually ended up betraying the Athenians and fleeing to Sparta and then betraying the Spartans and fleeing to Persia and then betraying the Persians and fleeing back to Athens and eventually being executed for it. Um, <laughs> He was cool. Um, but the Greeks also wrote a lot about governments, and we get a lot of our stuff about governments from them. I mean, Aristotle's obviously one of the famous ones. Uh, and I've got Thucydides, who wrote about uh, the Athenian democracy. And I've got Solon, who invented some of the Athenian uh, laws before democracy. And so we have some similar ideals, but we have some very different ideals. So for a start, we think democracy of being something that everyone should participate in. And the Athenians were very pro that, unless you were a woman or a foreigner, which meant you had to be Athenian for sort of four generations on both sides of the family. But also we base a lot of constitutional stuff on things that the ancient historians wrote. So Polybius actually came up with checks and balances, which he based on the Roman system to explain why the Romans had beaten the Greeks in the first place. And the Americans went, that seems okay, that's better than monarchy, so they had that. And incongruously, I'm also gonna talk about entertainment because um, I, can't think of any other, um, I can't think of any other comparison with the modern world for mass entertainment. Admittedly, they had theater and gladiators and chariot races and we have football and TV, but there are actually some really good parallels. So, for instance, the chariot teams all raced under specific colours, and their supporters would only support the teams with that particular colour, and they would wear the colours and go along and sit in those sections of the stands, and it actually looks an awful lot like kind of football team rivalry. And occasionally there are even riots that people like Tacitus would write about, and um, places would lose their, lose their licences to hold gladiatorial games or chariot races. Uh, but also, we get a lot of entertainment ourselves from ancient history. So obviously, there are the films, 300, Gladiator, the famous ones. Uh, but we also have things like uh, Agora and the Eagle. They were quite recent. And we also have dozens and dozens of books uh, that are fictional, that are based on ancient history. So these are just some. There are 12,000 returns on Amazon for uh, Roman fiction, which has spammed my Amazon page with a lot of stuff I don't actually want to read. Um, <laughs> So if anything else, we just need the ancient history to tell us what's actually fact and what's fiction and to let people keep coming up with this stuff. And you get a lot of popular history books, say Rubicon or uh, Persian Fire that have come out quite recently, and everyone quite likes those. And I think that's actually the most important part of ancient history is kind of telling stories about them because people in ancient history actually lived and they died and, yeah, they built great monuments. And now I just have some pictures of cool stuff. But... Um, <laughs> The people who built these things were actually real people, and you know they lived and they died, and sometimes you learn about them and you think, I could actually have been friends with that person had I known them, even if you know they were building Hadrian's Wall or writing poetry to their girlfriend or something. And for me at least, that's the most important thing about ancient history, is that they were actually people and they really existed, and we shouldn't forget about them because they give us a lot of cool ideas. I mean, here's a woman, she's thinking about stuff and probably <laughs> writing things down. And maybe we have the stuff that she wrote down and you can tell something about her life. So they say, uh, there's a woman called Claudia who is on Hadrian's Wall and she's written a birthday invitation to a woman at the next, uh, the next fought over that just says, please come to my birthday. It'll be so boring. If you don't come, it'll be awful. And we've all been there. You're having a party and you've had to invite all these stuffy people you don't want there. So... I think that's the most important thing about ancient history, and this is just really cool, because this is a mosaic from Pompeii, and it's in an entrance hall, and it's Latin for beware of the dog. <laughs> because they had guard dogs too. And that's the end of my talk, but it might not be the end of my slides. <laughs> <laughs>